We'll try to make it to the AA guns, but it might be up to you to finish the job. And Commander, if you see any way to undermine their defenses, we could definitely use the help. Shadow is on the ground. Repeat, Shadow is on the ground. Chief Williams, with Igor team. Manovai, Tieto teams, move! Time to get some attention. Do you know where the phrase undermine came from? Um... No, I don't. Uh, in the, in the Middle Ages in Castle fire. Warfare, turrets, a way to target. weaken the structural integrity of castle walls was to dig underneath the walls and li and have the ground literally sink beneath the um, the structure. By creating a mine underneath the barriers. You literally undermined the castle wall. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Thanks for that uh, sweet facts. I learned that in college! I loved medieval architecture in college. I love castles. I always wanted to design my own castle. Oh, oh, he's hacked. He's hacked. I need to be more careful about blowing up things Tally's actually hacked. I've done that like <laughs> three times. Shepard, why did you give me this upgrade if you're just going to keep destroying it all? All targets down. It's like you get like, it's like you get your, uh, your daughter a doll for Christmas. And like, that's such a sweet doll, isn't it? Have you given her a name? Yeah, her name's Sherry. All right. And you take the doll and you just like bite the head off. And no, your kid's you, just like, why did you do that? Then, then you give her a gun and you're like, so today we're gonna learn target practice. <laughs> it's like, you thought this was a doll? No, this is a freaking dummy. You're going to learn how to shoot midgets today. <laughs> My God. Something scrambled, they're targeting. We got a shot. Chief Williams, take the heat off Manavai. I did that. There's a lot of like little points that you can um, you can like hack, I think, to help things along on the other team. All right, this is the maximum I can zoom out. Uh, satellite uplink tower, refueling platform. Okay, so we need to plot our trip to take us there, and then there, and then go inside the facility. Okay. I think they should have had Leora's voice actors take another pass at that line. It's just so passe. It's so passive. Kill them all. Just could you could you just get rid of them, please? Thank you. Well, she is a biotic. I mean, Asari did yeah, kind of have that. Yeah, the Asari aren't really quick to like become anxious or anything, but still, it just feels like. I've never heard of an Asari being. Jayato, watch for comm stations. Williams, can you see anything? The only Asari I know of that are actually, like, crazy like that are the ones that are half-human. And you run into half-human Asari, uh, I think in the second game a couple times, and they they definitely act different. You can tell Are you talking about the art of Yakshi? No. Those aren't half-human. I didn't think so, but... The art of Yakshi are, um, they have a genetic disorder. But what... what makes a half... I don't remember a half-human... I don't remember there being anything specifically special about a half human, half Asari. Because don't aren't most Asari half of some species or another? Yeah, they are. But half human and half Asari are a lot more emotional. Huh. Okay. Um, there's a particular case. Uh, when we get to it, I'll point it out, and you'll be like, "Oh." All right. Perimeter clear. Okay, I think we destroyed. Um, oh, I have. Ha 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 ha. There we go. Remember that one Dexter's Lab where it's no no voices, it's just all sound effects? And it's just a day in the life of Mandark? Yeah. That was so funny. You... <laughs> crunch, 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 crunch. Because he's eating cereal or whatever? Yeah. It's, it kind of got annoying, but at the same time, you just had to applaud the creativity back. of it. It was pretty damn funny, honestly. Okay. A rooster cr crowing. All right. I get destroyer. I get destroyer. Yeah, watching reboot again, like in a like straight through, is just it's making me so nostalgic for the days when I'd come home from school and watch Cartoon Network. Oh Jesus! Whoa! Someone uh, made a really awesome shot. That was. I think that was either Liara or Tally, actually. It had to have been. Those things wouldn't have shot their their own base. Unless they're stupid. Oh, hang on. It's downstairs. Oh, never mind. We did it. Okay. Leveled up. 
We actually have leveled up several times. I haven't oh. been keeping track of it. Oh, uh, you can get Sweet! one point in charm. Yeah! Holy shit, we can max out our charm. That's so awesome. That's so awesome for so many reasons, actually. Um, your shepherd has definitely trended much more towards Paragon in the last half of this game. Because at the beginning of the game, you're choosing mostly Renegade points. Yeah, um, I wanted to be fairly even about both, but at the end of the day, you know me. You know me. Yeah. You know how I'm going to act. Um, all right. Let's, uh... You'll try to be Paragon at the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I caught that reference. It makes me feel good about myself. I actually, the first time I saw Les Mis, it was actually on Broadway. The first time great. I saw it was on a movie. And it was still good, actually. It was a pretty good Which, movie. Was it the recent movie? Yeah. Okay. The only problem with the recent movie is Russell Crowe. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's not... And that's it's, not terrible. It's, it's not just, Russell Crowe's fault no. that it's his fault, but um, it, 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 they just didn't cast the character. Yeah, I'm, it, I think it's a damned if you do and damned if you don't situation, because... They would have had to find somebody who could actually, who actually had musical chops that could equal uh, Hugh Jackman on screen with the gravitas and the, the the power of that role. And it's like it's freaking Wolverine. Man, they I tell you need what. some actor with cred to go up against Wolverine. And that the fact that it's Gladiator, I that alone, like I I'm fine with Russell Crowe's performance just because he's the freaking Gladiator. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty good beard too. Yeah, also he's Wolverine. The chick, what's what was the name of the lady that did the singing? Think we're good, Commander. Anne Hathaway. I didn't hear of her before that movie, but that movie I feel like just catapulted her acting career mm. leaps she and had, bounds. She did have a career before. Um, I can't. I don't know if I'd ever seen. <gasps> Explosive rounds eight. Oh, oh yeah, bitch! <laughs> oh my god, you are in for a treat. Oh, we have a happy unicorn here, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, we do. Holy shit. Okay. Okay. You ready for this? High explosive rounds cause 500% extra heat generation, 500% weapons force, and 20% damage, and have a 400... Uh, centimeter blast radius this will cause all of your shots to instantly overheat the weapon if it's in a sniper rifle <laughs> assault rifle you can maybe get two shots out before that happens so what we're gonna do is we are going to load our frictionless happy... materials no we're gonna load our weapon up with nothing but damage increasing things that cause it to overheat because we're going to rely on our sniper rifle overheating every single shot. Watch. <laughs> that is that is the cooldown between shots now with a sniper rifle. Why is their reticle so wide? Because that's firing from the hip. Ah. Like, if you zoom in, um, okay. I've gotten better with uh, sniper rifles, so I'm not really, like, drifting as much. But um, you'll see what this does. This turns the sniper rifle into a different weapon. It is no longer a sniper rifle. It is now a rocket launcher. <laughs> and I'll show you what I mean when we uh, when we get into the facility. I'll use it a bit. Normally you wouldn't use it in tight places, but um, for the sake of just showing off exactly how crazy this is... Hang on. We've got access to base security. We can put the alarms from here, maybe even trigger alarms on the far side of the base. It'll clear the guards out for us, but they might be too much for the Solarian teams to handle. <sighs> what do you think we should do? We did help them out a lot on the way here by getting rid of the, um, the so drones and... The drones, yeah. So maybe they can handle it. Probably. I mean, they've been holding the line so far. All right, let's do it. Williams can take a few more. Minimize the guard presence in the base. I hope they're ready for this. We could at least warn them. All right, whatever. I've got my Paragon maxed out, so I'm like, eh. <laughs> All right. Damn it. I didn't hit him. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. 
Did you see that? Yeah. So that see what I just did to that guy? <laughs> okay. They were indoctrinated. Now that I've established exactly how awesome our new sniper rifle is, let's see if uh, we can make our way through this facility. Let me open the map so we can plot a course here. Um, goes to base exterior. We need to go to the security office. Okay. Let's go this way. Make our way through here. 